Hello, and welcome to tonight's homework help for Tuesday night, October 23rd, 2012. We're going to jump right in with uh, distributive expressions. Instructions read, simplify each of the following expressions. Use two methods for each problem. So all of the problems on this side are very similar. Uh, I'll try this one because it looks a little harder. We've got the variable on the right-hand side, so um, uh, some people may have problems with that. So we'll just move the page up and... Uh, We'll start with that problem. So it said to simplify in two ways. So uh, I'm going to do uh, the first way. I'm going to show the method that Mr. Slepper showed today, where we had 9 plus 3f. And then we just rewrite that uh, this many times. So uh, 9 plus 3f, uh, 9 plus 3f. I'm going to have to squeeze him up here a little bit so that I can write at the bottom. I think that should be six of them. Okay, so I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I add them together, then I got nine plus, ni um, nine, plus nine is 18, plus nine is 27, plus nine is 36, plus nine is 45, plus nine is 54. So I've got 54 for my nines and that should make sense because 6 times 9 is 54 uh, and then I have 3 F's uh, plus 3 F's is 6 F's plus 3 F's is 9 F's plus 3 F's is 12 F's plus 3 F's is 15 F's plus 3 F's is 18 F's so that's one method to get my answer box that in uh, the other method uh, that I showed you today is you can use the arrow method and just show that you're distributing the six to each of the terms um, and uh, then the next step would be to show that that's six times nine plus six times three f okay that's supposed to be a three and that's supposed to be multiplication there okay uh, and then I know six times nine is fifty four plus 6 times 3 is 18f, or 6 times 3f is 18f. Box in your answer. The other method that uh, Mr. Supper went over today uh, that I really like, uh, we have that rectangle with two boxes, and we put the 6 on the outside, because uh, as you can see, the 6 is on the outside of the parentheses here. Then we put the first item of the parentheses up here, and the second item in the, of the parentheses up here. Uh, with their with the addition symbol. So here will be a 9 and here will be a plus 3f. Okay, and then I know that 6 times 9, 6 times 9 goes inside of here. 6 times 9 is 54. And then I have 6 times 3f. Well, 6 times 3f would be 18f's. Oops. I forgot my addition symbol, so let's try that with the addition symbol this time. Plus 18f. Okay, and so there you go. There's uh, one, two, and three different methods to show your work on this side. So make sure you do all each uh, on each of these problems. You show at least two of these methods, whichever ones you prefer, and then let's move on to the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side, distributive property multiplication part A. Instructions, multiply the whole numbers below by using the distributive property. Multiply the tens and ones place value separately and add the products. So we're going to split each of these numbers into their tens value and then their ones value. So I'll do this next one, 67. Uh, so 67 is 60 plus, and we already have the 7 filled in here. If it helps, you can use parentheses around this too to separate it. Maybe that makes a little more sense. So what we did is um, we took 67 and we split it into 60 plus 7. So I split 67 into 60 plus 7. And then I multiplied that by 2. And now I know we're used to seeing the multiplication number in front, but it means the same thing as if we did it in the back. So, uh, and then I'm just distributing this 2 
to each of these numbers and that's how I get to my next step so as you can see I got 2 times uh, 2 times 60 is here and then 2 times 7 is here and then you multiply them out well uh, 2 times 60 is equal to 120 if you're not sure you know that 2 times 6 is 12 and then tack on the 0 at the end so that becomes 120 2 times 7 is 14 when you add 120 and 14 you get 134 Ta-da. So uh, be sure and do all the problems on the side. As you go down further, less things are filled in for you, so be sure and fill in every blank to get full credit. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact Mr. Supper or myself. Uh, thank you, good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!